Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel at Happy Hot Home. I apologize for not posting videos recently. I've been so insanely busy with our backyard project and I know I do owe you a video on the pool and the pool house and I promise to do that because we'll be closing it down soon so I need to get out there and take pictures. So I promise I will do that. But in the meantime, I was working on a little project this week that I thought you all may be interested in. I recently purchased a glass cabinet on a, at a floor sale. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's very pretty. I got it at a great price, but it was missing shelves. So I had a carpenter make shelves. We painted the inside and I love it. It's beautiful. So I was wondering, what should I put in it? And I came up with the idea to put some of my vintage china dishes inside of the cabinet. So that's what I did. I took three sets and these are, I wish I could say that they were like my grandmother's sets, but they're not. <laughs> I thrifted them all, um, but they just have beautiful, delicate detail, roses, you know, beautiful colors, and I just wanted to display them somewhere in my house because they're so pretty. They've been sitting in a cabinet behind wood doors for quite a while now. So when I got this glass cabinet, I thought it would be a great way to display the beautiful dishes. So I wanted to show you, um, perhaps you have some dishes you would like to display too. And I just played around with different types of configurations and I really like what I came up with. So without further ado, I will um, turn this around and I will show you what I did. And if you like the video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I have a lot more Christmas stuff and holiday videos that I will be posting very soon. So, all right, talk soon. Hello everyone. Okay, what I'm gonna show you today is how I styled my glass, double glass door cabinet. And I styled it with vintage dishes that I've owned for a while. Um, I'd like to tell you that they're like my grandmother's dishes, but they're not. I thrifted them all at a thrift shop. So they're so pretty and they've just been sitting in the bottom of a cabinet for a while. And I recently bought this really pretty glass display shelf at um, a floor model sale. And I thought, oh, this would be so pretty to display some of these re really beautiful dishes in. So um, I think I mentioned earlier that it came without shelves, so I got a really good price on it. It did come without shelves, so I had a carpenter come in and build some shelves and paint it, and it looks great now. So I spent hours playing around with different types of ways to style dishes, and I absolutely love the way that it looks. So I hope you do too, and get some ideas on how you can style your own cabinet, whether it's in your dining room, a buffet, or what, whatever it is. And actually on the left and the right side of this wall, I am going to put up some more dishes that I have, um, and I'm going to actually put them on the wall. Not in this video, that will be a separate video. Um, so just for this video, I am going to show you how I just played around with different configurations and I really like the way it looks. So this cabinet, um, it's pretty tall. It's probably about 90 inches tall. It's a blue gray finish. I really like it. And it has this really pretty, like antique um, cremone bolt latch. And it, it just adds that like extra little touch. It's got some antiquing on it. And I, I just really like it. I mean, it just adds a lot to the piece itself. The doors are fairly heavy. Like I said, they are glass doors, um, but yeah, oh, one thing I also should mention is that it the cabinet is attached to the wall 
because when we did get it, it was delivered, it was tipping over. When I opened the doors, it would tip over because the doors were heavier than the back and it didn't have any shelves in it. So, mm. so it does have, it is secured to the wall. So that is very important to remember with any of your tall cabinets that that is a must that you should attach it to the wall in case kids climb on it or what have you. And ours was just empty and it was falling over if I would open the doors. So very important. Okay, well, let me take you inside and show you what I did. So I have five sets of dishes and inside this cabinet, I only am displaying three sets. My favorite set here, this is so pretty. A lot of you women can probably relate to just the very dainty detail of this pink, beautiful floral design on these dishes. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a Noritake. Turn it over so you can see it. I don't know if that's focusing very well, but it is a Noritake design and just so pretty. I love the detailing on it. It has a gold finish and it is just probably my favorite set. So I wanted to display them on the back and the thing I loved doing the most and one of the most beautiful things with any of these vintage sets is the layering when you layer all of the plates on top of each other. So I really wanted to show that in the cabinet. And as you can see over here, I have three plates layered on top of each other. It is a dinner plate, a salad plate, and a bread plate. And they are all layered on top of each other. This cabinet, I did not, it does not have the grooves in the back to put the plates but it is painted and the paint is a little bit sticky, so that does help for the plates to adhere. Plus, I did use a putty um, to help adhere them, you know, so when I close the door, everything won't fall over. And I'll link that in case you're interested in using um, a putty like that. But that is how I get them to stay and not fall down. So as I mentioned, on this shelf, I have just three plates layered in the back. And then in the forward, I have just other different layering options. I have the creamer here with a couple of saucers and a bread plate. Here I have another dinner plate with some saucers. And I just love turning these teacups on their side so you can see the inside. They're so beautiful and they really should be displayed. Cent center is the sugar bowl. So pretty with the detailing and a gravy bowl. And again, just layering another few dishes and a teacup. So moving on to the shelf right below it, Again, it is the very same pattern. I did the same thing in the back, but instead of putting a third plate in front of each, I just connected the two with a plate in the middle. Instead of putting it in front, I just put it in the middle. So I like the way it they all touch each other. I thought that was a really pretty way to display them. And here I have a serving bowl and I layered the teacups just on top of each other. Sort of like you can, you know, just grab the teacup and go. I thought that was a pretty way to display it. And then here center is another couple serving dishes, a serving platter, a serving bowl, and three teacups layered on top of each other. Again, so you can see the beautiful detail inside of the teacup. And then over here on the right, again, just layering, layering, layering. A salad plate with little finger bowls and then two teacups on top. So as you can see on the shelf above, 
I have five different settings. One, two, three, four, five in front of the plates. And then on this shelf below, I only have three. So I like to mix it up a little bit. Five with three plates layered. And here, three in the center with two plates that are connecting. Oh, and I think I put a little teacup over there in back as well, just to connect all of them together. They're so pretty. So that is the first set that I have styled in the cabinet. The second set on top is just such a pretty violet, um, dainty little violets that are just, I absolutely love them. Let me get up a little bit closer so you can see. Again, I layered them in the back with just two plates. And then in the front, I have very uniform one saucer with two teacups in front of each play setting. And I put in a couple of um, our wedding glasses, our Waterford wedding glasses. I really love those, so I added those. But that is the way that I styled this shelf. Two plates in back, and then a very uniform one, two, three, four, with two teacups um, piled on top of each other. And then, so the very same pattern, down on the fourth shelf, I did something sort of similar, where I have the plates and the, the dinner plates and the appetizer plates in back. I have three sets of teacups, one, two, three, and only the center one, only the center one is displaying the inside of the teacup, and the one on the left and right are not. And the reason I did this is when you're standing up, you can look down actually into the teacup and see it. So it wasn't as important since these are on lower shelves, for you to see the inside of the teacup. And then I added these little finger bowls, again layering two finger bowls on each with a saucer underneath. So that's the way that I styled this fourth shelf. And moving on to the very last shelf, this is another pattern. And this is I probably don't, I don't have as many pieces to this pattern, so I put everything on one shelf. And again, in the back, you can see I layered three plates, the dinner plate, the appetizer plate, and the teacup saucer in front of each other, oh, in front of each. And then in the front, I have a serving bowl, a serving bowl over there with a couple teacups sitting on a dinner plate. Over here, a dinner plate and some appetizer plates with the sugar bowl. And then here in front is the serving, a large serving platter with soup bowls and a couple teacups. And again, on this one, my other two dinner plates. I have eight dinner plates, saucers and teacups. And that is the very bottom shelf. So I hope you like it. I did each one of them a little differently, but I think all in all, they, I, I just absolutely love the way that it looks and the way that it all turned out. And I just love looking at it. It adds so much color to the room with the blues and the lavenders and the pink and the gold. And I think this is just such a pretty way to display our lovely dishes. Why keep them hidden? So I hope you enjoyed this 
and it gave you some ideas on how you can style your plates. They don't have to be the same. They don't have to be uniform. You can do whatever you want. Leave a comment below if you liked the video. I will be posting more things shortly, more videos shortly. Uh, like and comment and subscribe. All right, friends, I will talk to you later.